Well, we started doing, uh, before we started festivals, our initial test period was workplace deliveries. So we do have a small market of that that we still do. Okay. Um, who order lunches once a month, uh, which is a side income to the day to day running of the cafe. Yes. Um, aside from that, we have merchandise, which we've just started to um, pretty much release. I think. Yeah. <coughs> um, we get a lot of talk about our uniforms and our. Yeah, just our clothing in general. Okay, yeah. so that's that's still in process so, to... Yeah, we're okay. just about to launch it probably in the next couple of weeks. So, okay, cool. Um, we have different versions and different styles um, and a story behind it. So yes. That's one way of, uh, I guess, tying in the brand and making it like a lifestyle thing. Yeah, yes. And not just about the cafe itself. Okay, so, and I mean, people would wonder who would buy this? I mean, your biggest fans. There's yeah. always, yeah, you know, and we you know. don't have Lunk and Tucker labeled all over everything. It's almost a universal. Design. It's okay. designed, yeah. It's yes. A, there's a design as opposed to just the name being stuck on a T-shirt. That's cool. Um, we also uh, <coughs> do uh, probably about to do subscription boxes. Okay. So we do in-house um, cooking for our chutneys and our sauces and our powders, oils and powders. Okay. Yeah. So we are um, have a demand. E just you know day-to-day -day customers of buying that we wanted to increase that uh, by giving them an option to purchase different types of products that we make here monthly yeah whether it be spices or the um, oils it could be cakes as well yeah. yes so we're doing slices um, it just depends on what we are doing for that particular um, Month, yeah. Yeah, okay box. I, I like that so well, you mentioned things about um, workplace delivery. Yep. Yeah. We also mentioned stuff about um, the merchandise that's coming up soon. And you're currently testing um, a subscription box, which uh, I believe it's not a subs subscription box yet. You're, you've kind of um, uh, have a, sorry, your box. Yeah. Yeah, we did like a limited edition test period so yes. that we could. A pantry uh, box, yeah. yeah. Pantry the the Lankan, yeah. Lankan Taka. <laughs> pantry box. Yes. Yeah, so What's actually, in it? So there's a couple of, there's a few nice, you know, little goodies in there. Like we mentioned before, the chili oil that um, we've got in there that we have on our tables here. So when you come in to eat, you know, you can add that little bit of spice to. Really popular. Yes. Yeah, the, um, the, what else do we have in there? We have the, chutneys, the chutneys and then the cakes, but, uh, specific cakes to Sri Lankan. Yes. So, you know, they're sometimes a bit hard or too labor, like intensive to make. Yeah. So we're doing the job for people and yeah, the, the limited edition so far, pen, it's cool. done really well. So, so, I mean, to make sense out of that is you, when you get your customers in and uh, the ones that they really like your food and and the overall experience and they feel connected to the brand uh, uh, there's always a percentage of them they'll always buy anything you come up with mm. if these are uh, the Lankan Taka pantry box uh, the merchandise uh, the chutneys that you make in-house um, we you you even do your events like your the, the monthly events yeah. and they would come to those as well yeah. let's talk about the events what, what kind of events you currently are doing for us it's important to, I think people associate Sri Lankan food with dinner, so as much as we didn't want to do dinner, we wanted to create a bit of a vibe or a buzz in this area, in particular where we are, so that allowed us to think of a creative way to do dinner, uh, and we do that monthly, Yes. Uh, and we come up with different ideas, still um, true to Sri Lankan food, yeah, if not it will have a bit of a twist on it. But not uh, necessarily doing, you know, rice and curry yeah. or roti and string hoppers, you know, for an event. Well, my, like a few weeks ago, um, we did a ribs and wings night where we did the standard ribs and wings, but we changed it up with the with yeah, the rubs, sweet. you know. Yes. So we used tamarind and chili, something that, you know, we mm. get in Sri Lanka, like yes. very common. So we don't do those little twists as well and still make it interesting for people. And then, um, Last week we did a vegan night where we had um, your standard Sri Lankan dishes, but the customer came in and were able to choose out of two plates, okay. two platters, so they can choose and 
that was very different from the ribs and wings night. So yes, yes. But those events lend cool. itself to our regulars coming yes. back for more each time because we are doing a different style each time. So they create a whole bunch of avenues for us to go down um, every month. And yeah. that is a side thing to the day-to-day -day cafe 